Hello, welcome to Foundations of Drawing Art 121-40. My name is Jeremy Taylor. I'm your professor for the fall 2023 semester. This is going to be a wonderful semester packed of fun projects. We're going to focus on building basic drawing techniques and develop observational skills from life drawing. Drawings like a language will start with the basics like line and later tackle more complicated subjects like perspective and value. This is a 12-week semester, so it's a compressed course and will be packed with a lot of information. We'll cover topics such as contour drawing, gesture drawing, composition, positive and negative space, perspective, and value. Let's take a closer look at the syllabus and check out the details of what's covered in this course. If you look at the top of the syllabus here, under my name, you'll see my email, jtaylor at pvcc.edu. That is where you can contact me at any time. My Zoom office hours are Tuesday and Friday from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. If you go to the top of Canvas, you'll find my virtual Zoom office hours. And if you click on the Zoom link, you can meet me during that time. If you can't meet during that time, please schedule a meeting by appointment. You can also contact me at my telephone number, 434-227-8547, or you can text me at that same number. Course description. This course develops basic drawing skills and understanding of visual language through studio instruction and lecture. It introduces concepts such as proportion, space, perspective, value, and composition as applied to still life landscape and the figure. This is an asynchronous online class and students are expected to work independently and stay on schedule. Course objective. The primary objective of this class is for students to develop visual observation skills through the fundamentals of drawing and composition. A strong awareness of the visual world will be enhanced through the drawing medium. The students will be exposed to an array of drawing techniques, which will enable them to better translate what's observed in three-dimensional space onto a two-dimensional plane. Over the course of the semester, the students will gain a greater understanding of the drawing medium. Course goals. Over the course of the semester, the students will, one, gain a greater understanding of traditional and observational drawing, two, enhance their technical and problem-solving skills through the drawing medium, three, develop a greater understanding of composition, value, and construction, four, be able to cultivate their own process and approach to the drawing medium. Course structure. One, all course content will be delivered twice weekly on Tuesdays and Fridays via Canvas. Two, for each course unit and module, there will be a Canvas announcement discussing the lesson plan bi-weekly. Three, for each unit, there will be an annotated lecture, video demonstration, and instruction on Canvas for students to watch before completing assignments. Four, following the lecture and online demonstration, the instructor will follow up with an assignment, project, and handout. Five, each student is expected to complete the course content before the next unit module. There will be weekly deadlines for each unit. Since the class is asynchronous, it is the student's responsibility to view all course content, follow demonstrations, and complete assignments on time. This is a rigorous class, so expect to work hard and maintain contact with the professor if you're having a hard time staying on track. Six, the majority of this course will be spent working and developing drawing portfolio projects. Each project is designed to build upon the previous project. Not keeping up with this course content can hinder this particular learning process. Seven, for each assignment, there will be a discussion board on Canvas. The discussion board will be in the form of a progress critique or a final critique, depending on the assignment. It will be mandatory for students to comment on at least two to three works on Canvas anytime between the following class units. Eight, homework will be in the form of sketchbook assignments, tutorial videos, lectures, and projects. Projects will be posted in PDF format to the assignment page. Sketchbook assignments and portfolio projects will be submitted as JPEG photographs. Each student will be responsible to take photographs of their work with a digital camera to share with their instructor for grading. Nine, students can contact me for individual meetings via Zoom, text or email correspondence during office hours, or schedule meeting times. Course requirements. Students are required to read assigned materials, watch video lectures and tutorials, complete all assignments, and participate in Canvas discussions. Each student must purchase required materials and supplies. Topics of study. One, contour and blind contour. Two, gesture drawing. Three, perspective. Four, positive and negative space. Five, value and reductive drawing. Six, the master's study in portraiture. Attendance and participation. Class attendance and participation is an integral part of a sound academic program for all classes at Piedmont Virginia Community College. For all classes, 
Course attendance requires active participation by a student in an instructional activity related to the course after the course start date. A student who does not demonstrate active participation between the first day of classes and the last day to drop with a refund will be withdrawn from the class and the class will be removed from the student's enrollment record. For online anytime classes, students are expected to log into Canvas regularly to complete assignments and observe the course due dates. Two full weeks of non-participation is subject to a failing grade for this class. If a student misses a module, the student is responsible for making up any missed work. Drawing 1 is a cumulative class and will require approximately six hours of drafting a week. If you miss one module of class, it can greatly affect the next project, so it's important to stay on track. Students who do not sign on to Canvas as required may be withdrawn from the course. A grade of a W will be recorded for all withdrawals completed by the last day to drop a course with a grade of a W for the semester. Students withdrawn after the withdrawal deadline will receive the grade of an F, except under mitigating circumstances, which must be documented, i.e. a doctor's note, and approved by the Vice President of Instruction and Student Services. Course Evaluation 20% of your grade is your class exercises. 50% of your grade is your class portfolio projects or assignments, which is the bulk of your grade. 20% is class participation. This includes participating in discussion boards and watching your videos and your demonstrations. 10% is sketchbooks and quizzes. All grading and assignments will be done on Canvas. Class participation is based on each student's participation for each assignment and discussion board responses. The students are responsible for responding to online prompts and participating in modules and all online assignments. Exercises, assignments, project assignments, videos, demonstrations, and discussion boards. Project grading is based on the student's individual problem-solving skills, participation, attitude, execution of assignments, craft and design, neatness and presentation, and clear understanding of concepts covered in class. A full letter grade will be deducted for every day an assignment is late. Students are largely in control of the grade they earn at the end of the semester. Decide early on what grade you're aiming for and set your expectations for yourself to make it a reality. Academic honesty policy. Students must conduct themselves in compliance with the tenets of the PVCC honor system at all times. Piedmont Virginia Community College sets high standards for academic integrity and takes academic dishonesty very seriously. The following misconduct is considered an honor offense and is subject to disciplinary action, cheating, plagiarism, knowingly furnishing false information to the college or instructors, and the forgery, alteration or use of college documents or instruments of identification with the intent to defraud. Students are advised that a written summary of this violation and resulting penalty will be placed in the student's official college record. After one year of no further occurrences, the student may request that the Dean of Student Services remove the statement from the official record. Any work determined to be plagiarized will receive a grade of an F. Note, copying or drawing from photographs in this class will count as plagiarism unless specifically asked to draw from a master drawing. Netiquette and appropriateness. Netiquette is a way of defining professionalism through network communication. Meaningful, constructive dialogue is encouraged and requires willingness to listen, tolerance for different viewpoints, and mutual respect from all participants. The following guidelines are intended to create productive learning atmosphere for all students in a variety of online learning environments. Avoid offensive or personally insulting language. Use clear and concise language. Proofread your posts to check for correct spelling and grammar before submitting them. Avoid slang terms. Avoid using caps lock. Be cautious when using humor or sarcasm. Make posts that are concise and on topic. Always give proper credit when referencing and quoting sources. Be sure to read all messages in a thread before replying. Do not repeat someone else's post without adding something of your own to it. Avoid short generic replies such as I agree or looks great. You should include why you agree or add to the previous point. Students who publish personally insulting or threatening posts or behave in a disruptive manner or in violation of the student code of conduct, please bring any concerns you have to your instructor's attention. Code of conduct. All students are expected to abide by the code of conduct. Students can access and download a copy of the code of conduct at www.pbcc.edu backslash files backslash media backslash code 
underscore of underscore conduct dot PDF. ADA statement. If you believe you are eligible for classroom or academic accommodations because of physical learning or emotional condition, please contact the Office of Student Accessibility and Accommodations. Your assigned staff person will meet with you to discuss the process, review documentation, and approve accommodations for each class. Student Accessibility and Accommodation staff members notify students and faculty members of approved academic accommodations each semester and coordinate implementation of those accommodations. Please contact this office at the beginning of each semester to ensure that you have equal access to PVCC programs, materials, and classes. Please contact Carrie Hurst, Director of the Office of Student Accessibility and Accommodations, and her email address is khurst at pvcc.edu, and her number is 434-961-5281. Mental health support for students. PVCC now offers telehealth program for students. The Timely Care Services provides access to 24-7 mental health care virtually and at no cost to students. Licensed providers are available to offer mental health support via phone or secure video visits. Students can access visits from any web-enabled device, smartphone, laptop, or desktop. Services include 24-7 chat under Talk Now, scheduled individual counseling sessions, which is limited to three sessions, and group self-care sessions. To access timely care, go to https colon backslash backslash timelycare.com backslash vccs or two, register with your name and pvcc email address. Dropping or withdrawing from a course. It is the student's responsibility to drop a course. This may be done electronically by logging into MyPVCC and accessing SIS. To receive a refund, the drop must be done by the last day to drop with a refund. To drop a course with a W grade, the drop must be done prior to the last date to withdraw a grade with a W. Please consult the PVCC academic calendar for these dates. IT Help Desk and Open Computer Lab. IT Help Desk can assist with SIS, my PVCC login, student email, and basic computer problems. Email help at pvcc.edu or call 434-961-5261. Canvas support. Students have access to Canvas support 24 hours a day, seven days a week in Canvas. Click on help at the bottom of the left blue menu. There you will find information and links to Canvas phone support, live chat guides, and problem submission form. Canvas 24-7 student support hotline is 877-875-8359. Reproduction of student work. Student artwork may be selected to scan or photograph. Some work may be printed, matted, and framed for display purposes and inclusion in PVCC-related publications only. Work will not be sold or used for any other purpose. If you object to the use of your work, please contact your instructor. All right, let's look over the supply list. Okay, so if we look at our supply list here, you can see our first supply is our 18 by 24 Strathmore medium drawing pad. We can see that this is what the drawing pad is going to look like. And it's hard to get it in the screen while I have it on this tripod. Uh, it's an off-white paper, which is really nice for beginning drawing students. And um, it's a nice size so that students can work um, bigger than they're normally used to working. Um, but this is what I'm expecting you to get. Now, I'm gonna have you guys working upright, meaning um, you'll probably be sitting at a stool and you'll be facing a uh, subject that you'll be drawing. So you might need, because this is a little bit bigger, you might need something to bear down on, meaning you might need a board or something to, to bear down. The pad will act as a surface, but it will, you know, flop over because it's a little bit, um, you know, it has a cardboard backing, as you can see here. Um, but yeah, this is the, the drawing pad that I want you guys to get. Um, and it's hard to see it in full because it's so large. Um, but it's uh, spiral bound. Um, it's also 80 pound uh, paper, which means that we can apply ink to it. Um, and this is what I'm expecting you guys to get for this class. All right, the next thing that we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at our sketchbook. I want it to be no smaller than eight by 10. So we can see right here, we have a um, sketchbook that's a Strathmore sketchbook. It's nine by 12. 
um, it's 60 pound. Um, it doesn't have to be this nice of a sketch pad, um, but something that we can draw and we can practice on. Um, so this is, you know, this is a hundred sheets. My daughter's worked in this one. So um, it's uh, a little used up. The next thing that we're gonna look at is our drawing pencils. Now drawing pencils are a little different than regular pencils. So the, the pencils that you're probably used to looking at have erasers on them. Um, but if you can look at these, these are drawing pencils and they're different forms. Like a Derwent here and a Kimberly here. And the difference between in the H's is that they are lighter colored. And as we get into the B's, they start getting darker. Uh, so we'll have a range of uh, different color graphite. And our goal is to have uh, a range um, from 2H um, to 6B. So we'll have our, let's take a 2H and you can kind of see what it looks like. It's a little bit lighter and harder. And then if we go to our 2B, which is somewhere in the middle of our scale, you can see that it's a little darker. And then if we go further down the scale, let's try to get something that's darker than that. 6B right here, we can see that it's you know, much darker. So it gives you a range of value. All right, the next thing that we're gonna get is we're gonna get vine charcoal. Now vine charcoal is just a, a charred vine. It's usually a willow vine or a grapevine, and we use it as a drawing material, and we can see that it will make a nice mark. Now I want you to get the soft variety, and that will allow us to make darker marks. And usually it comes in a box like this, um, and I want us to get uh, between eight and 12 sticks so that we have enough to work with. All right. Next thing that I'd like for us to look at is our compressed charcoal. And our compressed charcoal, uh, now this is a larger container. I only need you guys to get two pieces, two to four pieces. Two is fine. And this is a much darker charcoal. We can see it right here. And you can see I have some vine kind of snuck in here. And the compressed charcoal is much darker. We can see it. it gives us a much darker, uh, wider line. And the next thing that we're gonna look at is our Conte crown. Now I'm only requiring you guys to get the black Conte crown. Now black Conte, and I'm gonna open this up so we can kind of look at it. The black Conte crown has a little bit more wax. For example, in regular charcoal, we can smudge it. Uh, it doesn't have any wax in it, so it's, it can be blended. Where this has a little bit more wax in it, it gives us a little bit more of a precise line. And it doesn't blend as well. Is everybody kind of seeing that? Because it has wax in it. Um, I am not requiring you to do this, but um, you guys can get white uh, Conte Crown and you can get the Sanguine. Sometimes that's a really nice option to have when we get into the more advanced assignments. All right. Kneaded eraser. So a kneaded eraser is a little bit different than a regular eraser. Kind of is like a gray piece of rubber and it comes wrapped up. It almost looks like a piece of chewing gum. Uh, some weird piece of sticky rubber. And what it does is it really allows us to pick up the charcoal, and specifically a charcoal eraser. So I'm gonna unwrap it really quickly. If I can get this undone. And what we can do is we can see that it erases really well on this charcoal. Everybody's kind of seeing that. So it's really a nice tool. And when it gets dirty like this, what we can do is we can, and the reason it's called a kneaded eraser is we can physically knead it. And it will allow us to continue kind of renewing the eraser. So it's a really wonderful supply. All right. The next thing we have is a white eraser or a white plastic eraser. I don't want us to get a pink rubber eraser. I want us to have a white eraser. It really gives us a good clean eraser mark uh, on something like a pencil mark. Is everybody kind of seeing that? And then um, 
The next thing I'm gonna require you guys is to get a utility knife. Now it can just be a simple plain utility knife, um, you know, one that's a breakable one, or you guys can, if you have like an exacto blade or something a little more fancy, you can do that as well. So you can have something like that. All right, um, a crow quill. A crow quill is just a simple quill pen, and I'm gonna have you guys doing some ink and pen and ink drawings. And we're gonna use um, either Super Black or Bombay Black ink. These are the two ink uh, types that I'm gonna have you get. And what we'll be doing is we'll be drawing um, more calligraphic lines uh, with this ink. Um, and I'm, I'm not gonna open the Super Black. Um, I'm just gonna do the Bombay because it's already open here. And you can kind of see we can make some lines with this. Um, and it will give us a lot of control. All right. And so we have the super black. I'm going to leave these kind of like right in our view here. And I will adjust this so we can kind of see what we have. Um, I also want you guys to have a medium tip round brush. This is a medium tip round brush. Now this one's a little bit smaller. Um, they have numbers on them. This is a two and this is a four. I'm gonna recommend you getting a two or a four. Um, it just depends on how fine of detail you wanna get. I like having um, a finer uh, detail, but when we get to doing bigger areas, which we're gonna do in our positive negative space study, um, you're gonna find that the, you're gonna want something thicker. So, you know, you're more than welcome to buy two, but I'm only requiring you to buy one. All right, a cheap pencil sharpener. Now, you know, there's ranges of pencil sharpeners. Um, here's, a, here's a pencil sharpener that's like maybe a medium grade, something that would cost around like, I don't know, six bucks. And then we have something that's uh, cheap that would be about two bucks. And then we have something that would be maybe about 50 cents to a dollar. So um, there's ranges. I just need you to be able to sharpen your pencils so that you can regularly uh, have a fine, tip on your on your drawing tool and so keep these right here and the next thing I'd like for us to have is a paper portfolio now a paper portfolio is optional you can use two pieces of cardboard to um, to create a hinge um, and create a paper portfolio uh, it's not mandatory that you get a portfolio because I won't be picking up a portfolio in an asynchronous class but it's nice to store your art in something. Um, you can always store it in the back of your drawing pad, but I'm, I'm not requiring you to get a portfolio, but I'm saying that it might be something that you wanna get. Um, sometimes a portfolio will be made out of plastic or paper, it usually has uh, handles, as we can see here. And it will have, um, maybe a closure, you know, where you can open and close it. Um, so, you know, something that you might want to get to put your artwork in or store it while you're working. Um, I'm also requiring you to get a, a 14 to 18 inch ruler. Um, I don't really need to show you what a ruler looks like. And I'm also requiring you to get masking tape. It's really wonderful um, to use while we're um, working on some of our pen and ink works. Um, it's also nice to, if you have a drawing board that you're working on, uh, it's something that you can apply tape to um, so that it will hold your paper. All right, so we have you know, some of these supplies in here. You can see some of our pencils. And this is kind of what we're gonna be needing, our kneaded eraser and your Conte crown and your vine charcoal. And um, our compressed charcoal. All right. Uh, the last thing I'm going to say is that you probably do want a drawing board. Now, you can just find a piece of wood or something that's a rigid surface. Now, if you don't have one, that is fine. You can draw on a flat surface like a table. But really, we want to have our drawing pad faced upward so that we can draw on a drawing pad. And you can look at uh, dickbook.com. 
uh, on my Diplic U to see what a drawing board looks like. Um, extra tools that you might want to use include a toolbox, a smock, so that uh, you don't get this really dark charcoal on some nice clothing, um, and a retractable eraser. A retractable eraser is something that you could get at an office supply store. Um, really simple, but really helpful when we're doing detailed work in charcoal. All right, uh, these are all the supplies that we'll need for the class other than the, the sketch pad, the sketch pad, um, and the big drawing pad. Please check your local suppliers at the art box. They will be helpful with supplies. Also, you can check out Michael's. Again, welcome to Foundations of Drawing. I cannot wait to see what we make this semester. I'm excited to work with each and every one of you. I will see you in Canvas and meet me in Zoom during office hours or email me if you have any questions. Take care. Bye.